Uh, before we get started on anything, I'd like to go ahead and give some Twitter or X shout outs to all the folks that are listening to the broadcast right here and now. And if you would like a shout out live right here on the broadcast, put the PC shot on. All you've got to do is go to my X or Twitter account right now, The Ghost Report. It's right there. And retweet the first tweet on my X account or post or repost, retweet, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the True Capitalist Radio episode 679 free format show. If you retweet that tweet or repost that tweet, I will give you a shout out live right here on the broadcast here and now. So let's go ahead and give some Twitter or X shout outs right now. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead. Who do we have here? We've got Froppy's BattleBots, Jag the Luxray in the house, Pertrick Stir, Yasorian Militant Mutant, Mad Thad, uh, the Mr. BN King, Oil Connoisseur, Christian. Uh, what's going on? We got Metal Warrior, Dr. Peen Respect, the Silverado Dude, Wiglarf, 805 Addict, President J., uh, Cat Can, Slime F41, Captain Cheesecake, The Bug Chaser. I'm going to dock my gay nephew. I'm not going to say that, you sick bastard. Said Commander, Dylan Mulvaney. I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, here's a text to speech. Just wanted folks. to say shout outs to King of Bugs for meeting me in the unisex stall at the Big One during Wednesday's show. What? Sorry about the AIDS. Also, type GX in chat if Ghost condoned this interaction. I didn't condone any of that, all right? We, we're not condoning that. <laughs> I'd buy that. Oh, great. We got dollar. Urinator with his... Let me tongue kiss you while I grab yeah. your flappy dappy ass fuck... Let me tell you something. Not only is that racist and we don't condone that, that's gay sexual harassment. So if you're going to be doing any kind of text to speech and, and doing any kind of sexually explicit gay garbage at me, that is harassment. I just want to let y'all know that. And by the way, we got a Rumble rant over there at Rumble Cat Cans. I think I'm going to call it X. Twitter is a dead name from a time when people like us would be ridiculed, threatened, and banned. Fuck Twitter and fuck Jack the Cuck. He's talking about Jack Dorsey. Uh, you know, cheers to Cat Cans on that one. I can agree to that. All right, I can agree to that. And uh, real female, yeah, thanks a lot. All right, Femboy Freaky Friday, thanks a lot. Let's get back to the Twitter shout-outs, or X shout-outs, my apologies. All right, we've got getting drunk on the job, huh? I'm not getting drunk on the job. Five-finger prostate punch, hair of the dog, ghost equals right-wing Joe Swanson, Hambolius, I need a dispenser here. I'm not going to say take 10 steps towards, I'm not going to say that. Bread tube ghost fears Adam Green. I don't know who the hell that is. What? I lost $100 on ghost playoff picks. Uh, the Green Thunder. Ghost wants Haley for president. No, I don't. Hina armpit appreciator. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Uh, Paco Taco. Ghost politics facts. Not facts, by the way. Ouija Slayer and Whistle09. Do we have any more? We got a few more here. We got Frank Castle. Blue Wave 2024. I don't think so. GK in the house, Poncho Mancanto, Colonel Transisco in the house over there holding it down at D-Live. And by the way, I think you just hooked it up with a Ninja Gini, by the way, old Colonel Transisco. And I look, I know your video wasn't played the last time. Here, let me put that, let me put this on, uh, let me put this in the archive. Here, let, me, let me cut and paste this. And Colonel Transisco's uh, video is going to be first to the next ghost show. All right, so cheers to Colonel Transisco once again, holding it down on D-Live with yet another Ninja Gini. And cheers to everybody out there. Right, Once again, the True Capitalist Radio is exclusively only on uh, Rumble, D-Live, and Kick of all places, believe it or not. So cheers to Colonel Transisco. And uh, let's go ahead and continue. We've got uh, Ghost is on the Spectrum. No, I'm not. Are you fucking nuts? Uh, Ron the Livingstone, Cornbread Man, Maximus Extermitus, or some shit, Uncuckable Alpha, Ghost's X, Fermented Fart Juice Connoisseur, there's Fruitcake Texan. Do we have any more people? We got Maria Maria's Smelly Pusshole. That's horrible. <laughs> I'd buy That's that horrible, for, for Christ's sake. And what is it? Hey, guys, just remember to keep giving me more and more money. I lost $40 billion, and now Twitter is worth less than $10 billion. Tesla had a massive recall, and the OSHA violations are piling up. Can you spare me another $5? All right, that's enough about Elon <laughs> Musk. And hold on, this is our first audio file for today. Oh, no! 
Ryan fucking bro Trump man no guy. no I am ride or die with Trump man guy man guy I would follow piece of Trump crap, into man. hell you pieces I would of crap Donald Trump into hell man guy <laughs> dude every fun thing was around Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, come on! I was on Epstein Island, you dickhead. Your guys are a bunch of fucking assholes. I'm Jewish. Israel's our greatest ally. USS Liberty, it was a fucking accident. I am ride or die with Trump Mega! <laughs> you goddamn piece of crap! Don't start! God damn it! Don't start! Don't start! That was a goddamn splice AI bullshit. Don't start with me today. It's a damn baller Friday. That was an audio file, folks. All right. In the age of AI, I mean, you get this kind of crap. And Ouija Slayer with a rumble rant. Be careful not to say I, me, or my too much during the broadcast. Let me tell you something, Ouija Slayer. I can say whatever the fuck I want. You want to know why? Because it's my show. How about that, you fucking Ouija Slayer autist piece of crap? All right, that's enough. You know, that's enough for the Twitter shout-outs. You people are pieces of trash. You're already starting off the broadcast in this capacity. I mean, I didn't even plan to have a broadcast today. I just had everybody on X telling me, come on, guys, let's have a true capitalist radio, man. So here we are, okay? So let's go ahead. Let's try to get serious, okay? This is supposed to be a serious show here. And let's talk a little bit about the markets. Now, the markets, once again... They're in complete euphoria that has gone beyond rational thinking. All right. There's no actual uh, resonance, at least coming from the Federal Reserve, that there's actually going to be a rate cut. This is anticipated. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. And what is it there, Fruitcake Texan? Happy Fake the Fury Friday. Fabricate the Fit Friday. Fill your own phallus Friday. Fill it to f Friday. All right. Feed that's the Fruitcake enough. Friday. All right. That's Fawn enough. Over feet Friday. Fancy a fruitcake's fanny Friday. Fairy fajita Friday. Anyway, Carl Fall asleep Trent. in free format Friday. All right, shut up, fruitcake Texan, you son of a bitch. And look, if you're going to be doing any kind of text-to-speeches... <laughs> I'd buy that oh, for Jesus. a dollar. If you're going to be doing any kind of text-to-speeches, you better say something positive, all right? And Colonel Transisco over there at DLive said, Joke, what do you call it uh, Starbucks? And he said, because the prices are astronomical. Thank you there, Colonel Transisco, over there at D-Live, hooking it up with some diamonds. But the reason I say that everybody should calm their asses down for a potential cut, aside from that being an indicator of a major economic contraction, I mean, who knows if there's going to be a cut? The economic data, as I stated when uh, there was this anticipation of a potential cut in 2024 at the end of quarter four last year, I told everybody to calm your ass down. We need to... Uh, you know, we need to hook it up. You know, we need, we need to hook it up with more data. That for a dollar. Here's something positive. My HIV test. All right, Fruitcake Texan. That's, I'm, that's great. That's great that you're HIV positive and proud, all right? <laughs> I'd buy that oh, for a dollar. Oh, jeez. True blue arms rate. What the hell does that mean? And Ouija Slayer with a rumble red. Be careful not to say I, me, or am I too much during the broadcast. Let me tell you something. Is that me as Chris Chan? I want. You wonder why? Because it's my show. How about that, you fucking Ouija Slayer autist piece of crap? All right, that's enough. You know, that's enough of the Twitter shout out. You people are pieces of trash. You're already starting off the broadcast in this capacity. I mean, I didn't even plan that's to have a broadcast. That's me as Chris today. Chan. I just had everybody on X telling me, come on, guys, let's have a true capitalist radio, man. Meh, meh, meh. You fucking So here we of are, shit, okay? Dude. So let's go ahead and try to get serious. Okay, this is going to be a serious show here. And let's talk a little bit about the markets. Now, the markets, once again, they're Don't in you dare. euphoria that has gone beyond rational thinking. Don't you dare compare me to Chris Chan, that goddamn mother. <laughs> goddamn stupid monster, son of a bitch. Don't you dare. Don't you goddamn dare. Look. We're already starting off the serious show in a bad way. You know, let me tell you, look, it's about to be 4 p.m. out here at the Ghost Show, also True Capitalist Radio Show stu Studios here. I could be at the bar right now. All right, it's happy hour somewhere. I could be at Twin Peaks 
right now getting served 29 degree goddamn draft beer in ice cold mugs having them served by some 24 year old bimbo with her knockers and her ass cheeks hanging out watching sports instead i'm sitting here messing around with you people all right, let me acknowledge some of these buy me a coffees that just came in, by the way. Let's go ahead and take a look. Put the PC shot on. First and foremost, uh, Nar- uh, Narocore, uh, this one came in uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact. He said, hi, Ghost. Just here to say thank you for doing TCR and for so many years. I've been a fan for a few years now, and your show has inspired me to start investing in stuff. Keep up the good work and cheers. Look at that. That's what we need. That's what we need. We need some positive reinforcement in this broadcast, all right? And we've got Kit's uh, Hey Princess. Here's a story to talk about during the show. All I got to say is deja vu. Also, tomorrow is going to be my best friend, Tarl Warwick's birthday. Can you wish him a happy birthday? I mean, isn't that the little midget, you know, that does the uh, tenable? Uh, Or is that his brother? Uh, I don't know who it is, but let me see what Kits wants me to take a look at and talk about here. Put the PC shot on. All right, two men. Hold on, take that off. Two men sued Madonna for false advertising after she started her Brooklyn concerts two hours late. Well, you know, that's because they paid money. All right, and I'm sure her stupid concerts, uh, they're not giving them away. I'm sure you're dropping at least... uh, Mid three figures just to see this old 65 year old loose, disgusting pumpkin pie looking puss fruit. All right, anyway, thank you. Kits does a flip. I, I, I think I know what you're insinuating there, but just shove it up your ass. All right, anyway, put the PC shot on. Here we got JSAF. Here's something positive your blood work results. Congrats on the positive test results. Yeah, right. All right, you fucking homosexuals wished. And speaking of uh, homosexuals, we got Urinator with a rumble rant who said, since Japanese students can earn their high school diploma on VR chat, can you and I have our slice of life, romance, comedy, in virtual reality? Dude, take about 10 steps away from my freaking butt crack with that talk. And we got Five Finger Prostate Punch. Uh, Chris Gosler chan sex tourism at the nursing home radio. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah, right. And, and apparently, Tarl, uh, apparently, and according to the people in the chat rooms, is Sticks Hexon Hammer. All right. Well, look, I don't know what's going on with Sticks Hexon Hammer, but it's been alleged that, uh, you know, him and his significant other are not necessarily having a great round of marriage life. And look, I don't know anything about it. I've only been hearing from some of the folks that listen to his broadcast and listen to his. I don't know, whatever you call his content. And it seems as if that, you know, there may be trouble in paradise. I mean, no offense to Sticks, but when you started doing those cringy-ass videos of you and your wife, I mean, you could see the shit-eating grin on your face. Uh, You could see that, yeah, I love it, it's great, yeah. And you, you saw the awkwardness from your other significant other. So anyway... And Void Man hooked it up with a diamond over there at D-Live. Keep up the great job, TGIF, to you, sir. Thank you very much, Void Man 1, over there at D-Live, all right? Anyway, let's continue. Why do I believe that everybody who's anticipating a rate cut this year may be a little disappointed? I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, maybe a little. Fuck you, kits, all right? You want to know why the data has come in? Now, if you've heard about the recent CPI data, So once again, I mean, even though we saw an uptick in retail sales, at least according to the data that I just showed you. I'd buy that for a uh, dollar. What is it, urinator? You trying to delete it, but I now know your true feelings for me, HTTPS. Yeah, you know what? I'm not looking at it, urinator, all right? I'm not looking at it, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. And five finger prostate punch, get the fuck out of here. I don't even want you in here, all right? All right. I acknowledge your stupid rumble rant. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking piece of shit. You're not even in this country. You're some kangaroo banging Australian bastard, all right? So go stick a fucking platypus up your ass. Fucking asshole. All right? And you know, by the way, Australia, no offense. I know I have a lot of Australian fans out there. But you know that your country is, I don't know, a little obscure when you've got a couple of prime ministers that have been eaten by sharks. All right? So I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. Anyway, way fair to cut. 1,650 jobs. So I think that this is the calm before we start seeing an uptick <laughs> in Bitcoin. Oh, Yo, Semite ham. What the? Look, we're already starting off the serious uh, show no, in a bad come on. way. You know, let me tell you, it's about to be 4 p.m. out here at the Ghost Show and also True Capital's radio show stu studios here. I could be at the bar right now. All right, it's happy hour somewhere. I could be at Twin Peaks right now getting served 29 degree goddamn draft beer in ice cold mugs, having them served by some 24 year old bimbo with her knockers and her ass cheeks hanging out, watching sports. Instead, I'm sitting here messing around with you people. Dude, stop fucking making me like I'm Yosemite. Sam oh, shit. Time to skip that shit. Stop calling me Yosemite Ham, you fucking stupid goddamn piece of life and those stupid piece of shit. God damn it! I'd buy that for Hey, what do you want, fruitcake, Texas? There's no real quality control for Whataburger outside of Corpus Christi, where it was founded, but any time I get a client out in Corpus, I always get Whataburger when I'm there. It's just as good as it was in the 90s. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. What are you talking about, man? The corporate headquarters moved away from Corpus, and it's in San Antonio, all right? I used to go to that corporate headquarters, that, that one uh, Whataburger that's by the corporate headquarters, because I know that if there's going to be a good fucking Whataburger, it's going to be the one right outside the headquarters. Even that one sucks. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like the faint flavor. Like, you can kind of taste the faint flavor of what Whataburger used to taste like. It sucks now, man. I'm sorry. It's horrible. But anyway, I think that this is the calm before the storm. I think that we're going to see a short-term uptick. What a bunch of crap. This is the state of the Republican Party right now, by the way. Anyway, we got Urinator with a rumble rant. Uh, the way your heart beats, pounds sync with mine. My hand caressing your cheek. Our tongues dancing and wrestling. Oh, that Jesus. And what is it? You wanted something positive from TTS Donos, Boomer? More positive than your bank balance after earning over $1,000 a stream? Oh, More Jesus. positive than your nephew's HIV test? You sure do know awful lot of specifics about the homosexual lifestyle. Yosemite uh, first Lamb. of all, you, you know, Luke Smith, I know about uh, aspects of the homosexual community because I've done extensive research. Because, look, just in case I debate a gay, just in case I debate a gay, I could become the master debater in that debate. Do you understand? Because every gay, what do they say? Oh, you don't know what it's like to be gay. Oh, yeah? What is it that I don't know? Huh, the Travada and the Discovy that is now being prescribed to you because you refuse to wear rubbers? I mean, what, what, what are we supposed to, uh, the, the, that new drug that get, makes your HIV blood undetectable so that you can go and get a blood test with the fresh meat that's coming out from 18 to 24 and be like, look, I, I'm not HIV positive. I know a thing or two about a thing or two about the fucking homosexual community, all right? If I debated a gay, I would be the master debater in that debate, all right? And speaking of gay, urinator, your lips make my soul quiver in anticipation. That, yeah, sh you shut up, urinator. Right? You're a sick bastard. You're sick. And Devious Dave over there with the rumble rant. O'Hare Airport has a huge portion section to offer housing illegals now. 800 to 1,000 currently. Used to be such a nice, clean airport. Well... I mean, you know, we got these uh, folks wanting to allow these migrants without vetting them, which, by the way, used to be uh, something that Trump advocated. He wasn't against immigration. He wanted them to come in here legally, and he wanted them vetted. All right? And Cornbread Man with a, uh, a diamond over there at D-Live, a speaker looks like an NRT victim. Yeah, he, I'll, I'll be honest with you right now, man. This guy is a joke. Mike Johnson is an absolute joke. He just allowed this spending bill to go ahead and go on. And, and part of this spending bill, as I stated, to allow the government to operate until March has Ukraine funding. And he got nothing <laughs> for it. For what? Just in case you debate a gay? 
What are you doing hanging out at the Z and seeing who gives you a hand job in the booth? I have no idea what the hell the Z is, you fucking milky licker, but take about 10 steps away from my freaking butt crack. <laughs> I'd talk. buy that for a Oh, dollar. Jesus. Here's another audio file, folks. Jesus Christ. Inner circle Look, leaks. I talked about how I faked the rage, but what I didn't tell you about, I also faked being a conservative, faked being a capitalist, faked being a Republican. I'm actually a Democratic socialist. I voted for Obama twice. I voted for Hillary, I voted for Biden, I'm going to vote for him again. Bullshit! All of these idiots, they give me all them, all this money. I've, I've been, look, I've been uh, making bank off of these guys. They think I'm some sort of uh, right-wing man. Hey, I'm as left as they come. You're a fucking piece of shit. Whoever the hell did that in AI, I hope you fucking get cancer of the cock, you fucking son of a bitch! Ah! Ah! Look, look! If y'all are going to continue on with this, I'll end the show goddamn early, man. I don't need to put up with this garbage, all right? I'm out here trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks, and instead, all I have is a bunch of troll terrorists and cyber vermin trying to take a whiff of the bacon bits on my asshole. Back off, you fucking losers, all right? And maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll learn some shit. All right, look, before I... Before I go too off keister, I'm going to smoke some tobacco, all right? All right, where's my pipe? Where's my goddamn pipe? Here it is, right? I'm sorry, folks, all right? I'm sorry I'm even taking time from the show to do this, but you all see, man, these fucking trolls are a bad case of herpes, man. They never really go away, man. They're a pimple on the ass of life. You know, you try to pop it a little bit, and then it fucking gets bigger, and so it gets infected, and then you got a fucking big-ass fucking red bump on your ass and all this shit. That's these fucking trolls, dude. That's them. All right. Anyway, let me get to some tobacco here, and then I'm going to get back to the show. I'm sorry for all the folks that are listening into the serious subject matters, and I'm sorry. I'm going to get back to it here in a second. And look, we got Urinator with a rumble ran over here. Can I smoke your meat pie? Look at this fucking freak, man. Anyway, for all those that are wondering, all right, I get my tobacco from the Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. And uh, this latest strain, which I uh, I think I talked about it on the last ghost show this past Wednesday, uh, it's called Topaz Ass. All right. So let me go ahead and take a smoke of this, and I'm going to get back to discussing some serious subject matters here in just a second. All right? That's it. You got to hold it in. You got to let it hit the brain a little bit. All right? Anyway. <laughs> I'd oh, buy Jesus. that for a dollar. <laughs> oh, Christ. And, dude, video donos are back. Tranny fucks... Trump supporter on camera. Dude, look, we don't need to listen. We're not we're not gonna view that. All right. That's disgusting. Why would you even leave a link like that, you sick bastard? Why the hell would you even leave a link like that? And put the PC shot on. We got K- Kits was like, at least Sticks has a real wife. I got a real wife, asshole. And we got propane, man. Hey, Ghost, nice to see you on here today. Can you tell Yakass to stop trying to get a BJ from people in the dome? It's really gross. Look, I hate to say there was a massive breakdown with Yakass and a whole bunch of people yesterday in the damn uh, Thunderdome. And uh, I'd buy that for a dollar. Know, it, it, was, it was like a complete breakdown. And anybody who happened to be in the Thunderdome at that time were in for some kind of treat. Let's put it that way. Also, here's a video when you start playing them. Have a good show and take a quick smoke with me. I'll go ahead and do that there, Propane Man. I'm going to play it uh, probably the next Ghost Show, which will probably be Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, the Ghost Show. All right? Here, let me take a smoke here. Cheers to everybody out there who's listening to the broadcast. All right? It's a Baller Friday edition, and you can tell that the freaks have come out today. Let's put it that way. Let me have a smoke here, all right? I should have cleaned the screen before I got on the broadcast. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway. We got Zamboni with a uh, diamond over there at D-Live. Thoughts on Chainlink? I think Chainlink still has potential, but to see the big pickups that we saw during the Prime, I'm not too sure about that. There's a lot of competition uh, when it comes to Smart Contract, which was the basis of Chainlink. 
And, uh, you know, people are stepping their game up now, man. Anyway, cheers to uh, Zamboni Driver. And then we got Maria, Maria, over there at D-Live with a diamond. Smoke that weed. I'm I'm not going to. I'm not smoking anything illegal, all right? I'm not smoking any kind of illegal contraband. So for you people to insinuate that, give me a break. All right. Anyway, look, I'm not acknowledging this idiot who donated a a, a fucking pornography link. All right. I'm not acknowledging that. And then we got Peter who said, hey, Ghost, Shake Shack makes a the best smash burger. I don't like their potato bread. You know that? I I, I just don't like it. You know, eh, you know I, don't, I don't know. Just FYI. And check it out. By the way, both Biden and Trump are 80 years old. This is what America wants to become president. Something to think about. That's what I keep telling you. Look, Peter. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on, Jay Money. Hope I'm not beating a dead horse here. But any upcoming films you're looking forward to this year? No, not necessarily. I'm sorry, Jay. I'm not looking forward to any films this year. New films have lost their luster. They've lost their creativity. And all Hollywood is doing is remaking a bunch of shit and ruining, ruining the views of and the perspective and the appreciation of old films that they're now redoing. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to anything. And you know what's really sad? is that nowadays you can make a film with your iPhone, all right? I mean, you can make a, a quality film with your iPhone, and yet with that type of ease of production, there's still nobody creative enough to go out and make a movie that that it, that it just kind of infatuates people, that, that, that puts people into a uh, an appreciation where it's just general, you know, like a, like a masterpiece cinema. I, we, we don't have that anymore. Anyway, we got cat cans with a rumble rant. I had a strange feeling that Stick's first wife caused trouble. Maybe she was, uh, or maybe saying she was still married to him, forcing him to have to leave Europe immediately. At least that's what I like to think. Well, I don't know, cat cans. I, I don't know. You can always play my video today. No need to wait till Tuesday. It's relative to the show. All right, well, look, if it's relative to the show, I'll take a look at it, all right? All right, apparently, according to Propane Man, this is uh, relevant to the show. So let's see what Propane Man is uh, wanting me to take a look at here. All right, what is this? Uh, uh, wait a minute, it's it's relevant to the show. It's a fucking song! All right, it's, it's a fucking song. It's deicide. These are Satanists. All right, I'm playing that. I'll play that on the ghost show. All right, this is not relevant. All right, this is not fucking relevant. All right, anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted, all right, uh, let's just recap what I'm discuss- what I'm saying here. And I think every Republican should be pissed that this idiot, Mike Johnson, the now Speaker of the House, allowed this spending bill to fund the government until March Got nothing for it, and yet Ukraine funding is in this spending bill. Okay, take a look at this. Publi- a political independence continue to constitute the largest political <laughs> bloc I'd in the United... i for a dollar. Ah, oh, gee. Here's an audio file. God if y'all are going to continue on with this, I'll Wait. end the show goddamn early, man. Is that me as Pippa? I don't to put up this garbage. Is that me right? as Pippa? I'm out here trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks, and instead... All I have is a bunch of troll terrorists and cyber vermin trying to take a whiff of the bacon bits on my asshole. Back off, you fucking losers, all right? And maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll learn some shit. I mean, uh, I was on Epstein Island, no! all right? No! No! Take that shit off! I am pro-Trump! Take I that am shit off! I die with Trump! I would follow Trump Take into shit. hell! Take that shit off! God damn it! God damn Especially when there are many, many... Christ! What is this? The gay nephew she after sex song? Come into the bowl. <laughs> what? To turds and my creamy load. She oh, out no! It was gooey white, brown, smelly, thick and dark. She took my load. No! Get her behind. Why are you doing this? No! 
shit my cum before oh, you go. My, no, that's gross. That's disgusting, man. Shit my cum before you go, go. Don't leave my load inside your asshole. Shit my cum before you go, go. Don't leave my load inside your ass. Oh, God, no. Why? Why would you donate that? Why? I God damn sick. Sons of bitches are sick. Oh, you're sick. Oh, God damn it. God damn it, man. Look, I think I might have to fucking cut this show early, man. I mean, it's fucking disgusting, man. <laughs> buy that for a dollar. What is it, President J? Every single Republican you hate, Jim Jordan, Lauren Bobbert, Matt Gates, Paul Gosar, etc. all voted against this bill. Oh, all Jesus the neocons Christ. and establishment actors voted for this funding bill. All you neocons won and should be happy. Uh, well, first of all, we should have a fucking Speaker of the House that knows how to negotiate this shit. We don't! Alright? I mean... Dare I say, I miss the days of Newt Gingrich that was able to not only capitulate a fucking Bill Clinton while as president, but he also made every Republican fall in line with ideas. All right? We don't have that shit. President Jay, you fucking asshole. Look, everybody cut the crap. I'm trying to get serious here. All right? True Capitalist Radio is a serious fucking show, and you people turn it into a circus sideshow, and I don't I don't appreciate that one bit. I don't appreciate that. As a matter of fact, you know, everybody over there at fucking D-Live has been pretty cool. I'm going to put some fucking lemons into the damn treasure chest at D-Live. Let's put a thousand lemons, all right, for these people. All right, put a thousand lemons in there for them. Jesus Christ. You see, this is what I get. Anyway, let's get back to what I was discussing. Even though we have the cringe fringe on both sides of the political aisle here, it's a silent majority. All right, I got to acknowledge some donations that happen on Buy Me a Coffee here. All right, so let's just go ahead, put the PC shot on. All right, now look, I'm not, I'm not fucking going <laughs> I'd buy there. That for a dollar. And what is it? Since I know how much you love Sega Girls. Here's another favorite series of mine I want you to play during the next ghost show. Uh, yeah. HTTPS colon slash slash All right. www. Uh, all right. Thank you, Harari Susamiya. All right. And by the way, we ended up playing your shit at the end of the show. So FYI. All right. Anyway, I'm not playing this. This is a pornography link. Don't play that. Don't even link it. Don't go to my profile and link the shit up. Pure text and filth is donation alerts not working for anyone else. Cheers, ghost. Here's five bucks to Thomas the Tanky Engine Interview Fund. I don't want to talk about that. All right? I don't want to talk about that shit, please. All right. Anyway, as I was stating, folks, all right, this is why I think that the Democrats have the edge over Republicans, because right now Republicans are just going, <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. What is it there, Phoenix? Food for thought did you know that a male horse has eight to ten billion sperm per milliliter of ejaculate uh, who gives a shit? learning is fun they say too much of a good thing can kill you well i guess mr hands got greedy Dude. also ghost is a bitch yeah fuck you asshole all right i got your bitch you idiot all right i've got your bitch i haven't even been on an hour man i'm already fucking sick of this shit all right this is supposed to be a serious broadcast, man. Anyway, as I was stating, folks, okay, this is why I think the Democrats have the edge, because as you heard from the last State of the Union address by Joe Biden, Joe Biden is basically campaigning as MAGA light. Clinton, to get anything done, he had to piecemeal legislation with the Republicans. And I'd that's buy that for a dollar. Oh, gee, here's another audio file. I am going to kill your family. What the fuck? I stop so believe you when you say it was me. This is not a joke. What I the know hell where is you this? are. You can run, but you won't get far. I'm going to tear your family apart. I'll go to great lengths to demolish your heart. I get closer and closer every single day. Jesus Christ. You're taking everything that you know out the way. Dude, you, you guys are fucking... I am pro-Trump. I am ride or die with Trump. I would follow what Trump the into hell. Do you understand me? 
You fucking piece of shit! God damn it! Hi, uh, ghost. This is my, uh, first time donating. Oh, yeah? I really, uh, I'm like your, uh, show. Cool, really. Yeah, bubble Anyways, gut. uh, can you take a, uh, quick break? I, uh, have, uh, to, uh, go, uh, you know, uh, poop. Oh, I'll Jesus just be, uh, Christ. five or ten minutes. Dude, look, if you're gonna donate anything on text-to-speech, please, do something positive, man! This is a serious show! Do you understand? I've got tens of thousands of people that listen to True Capitalist Radio throughout the world for the goddamn financial insight, for the political and social commentary, and you people have legitimately just thrown this off the track. No pun intended to you fucking Thomas the Tanky Engine fucks. I need my positive reinforcement button. Where's my positive reinforcement button? She's sounding a little tranny. I don't know what the hell that's about. Yeah, you're damn right. You're damn right. That's my positive reinforcement button. I don't know why she's sounding a little trans, but uh, I got that just in case you people tr- you know, tend to be a little overwhelming. All right? That's all there is to it. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, when we had an annual budget in the 90s, the Republicans, under the leadership of Newt Gingrich, forced Bill Clinton, which are the people who hold our debt. You know, because somebody holds our debt. <laughs> oh, I'd Jesus Christ. Greater than, 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 People who buy United States bonds and treasuries are the folks that own the debt. What you people are doing in the privacy of your own home, your own private clubs, your own bedrooms. <laughs> I'd buy that for oh, a Jesus. <laughs> What, Scott Serious Peterson? Serious question. Do you think it's worth investing in older electronics containing discontinued integrated circuits slash chips that are becoming increasingly scarce and required for repairs? Loving the show, big man. Also single BTW. Ladies, hit me up. Dude, Scott Peterson fucking killed his wife, you idiot. But look, I think that uh, refurbishing old electronics is going to be something that is going to be a necessity, especially if we go down the direction of world conflict, which looks like what we're emerging into right about now. But anyway, as I was stating, okay, as I was stating, folks don't want to buy bonds in a goddamn uh, uh, fucking country that is maxing out its credit card. Now, going to social conservatism, I get it. Uh, a lot of people are, you know, d- doing their thing. There's a lot, of, a lot of degeneracy out here. But one thing that Republicans should all coalesce behind is no sexual... <laughs> I'd buy that for a Jesus dollar. fucking Christ. Feed goes to suck it sandwich. Listen to me. I'm getting I'm, I'm getting tired of this shit. I'm trying to say some serious shit here. As I was stating, all Republicans should coalesce behind the fact that no children should have any sexuality or sexual suggestion towards them at any for any reason. For any reason whatsoever. And unfortunately, most of these folks at least in the fringe cringe of the right, can't come to a consensus on that. And you see, that's where the the right at this point is in shambles. We need a social and fiscal conservatism to take control of the party again. And as I stated, two different issues enables uh, ideas for those that are Fiscal and, and social conservative to take control of the party again. <laughs> I'd buy that oh, for a she, dollar. Jesus Christ. Positive, you say, boomer? If you want positive, turn off TTS donos, then boom, no more trolls. 
but you won't cause things would get negative, financially speaking. At least they will never be negative, medically speaking. At this point, <laughs> you son of a language. You son of a fuck you, all right? All right, fuck you, Luke Smith. What kind of a fucking name is Luke Smith? That sounds like something that was shitted out of Greg Louganis' AIDS-infected asshole. Fucking piece of crap. Anyway, I'm sorry. I, 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 these guys are legitimately uh, sinking me to their level, all right? Anyway, uh, we got Valtteri Bottas who said, thanks for the TCR. I hope you got the message on buy me a coffee. Yes, I did. And I'm sorry that happened, but cheers to you. All right, Valtteri Bottas, man, cheers to you. And I, and I thank you, man. But as I was stating, getting back to fiscal conservatism, let's just go back to a goddamn annual budget. Simple policy. There should be no reason why the Republicans can't coalesce around that policy. Uh, are hitching their trailer to. Look at this sick dollar. broad. She's an idiot. Hi, uh, ghost. I'm all done with, oh, uh, Christ. you know, uh, pooping. I thought all right, I've you, had just uh, about enough we're gonna of this. Wait, all right. uh, I mean, stop me. donating me these stupid right. fucking uh, Texas speeches, man. Like you. How uh, do you hold in? You know, you're a poop uh, in for the whole show. I'm sorry, folks. All right. I'm sorry we're going through this. I wouldn't be surprised if this was Laura Loomer or some shit or, or somebody that is being paid by the Trump campaign. I can tell you that right goddamn now. But this is what the Trump train is backing up. Laura fucking Loomer. Oh, Jesus. What is it there, Joel Rifkin? Serious question, Ghost. What? Do you think New York is worse now that they've cleared it up, like Amsterdam without the brothels? I mean, I had a lot of good times with the ladies of the night from Times Square. Weird to think that's all gone. Crazy shit. Yeah, I, and that's a fucking other serial killer, by the way. And what are you talking about, man? New York is a dirt hole now. All right, New York is a fucking dirt hole, and it's because, for whatever reason, uh, they don't want to relinquish their title as a sanctuary state and a sanctuary city. And I think it's rather ironic. You know, I think it's rather ironic that these fucking Democrats over there would rather die on their immigrant sword than to actually uh, appeal to their party to say, hey, look, we need, a, we need to do something about this fucking immigration issue. And let me tell you, you know when New York was at its best? When Rudolph Giuliani was the mayor of New York. And, you know, speaking of Trump, anybody who backed up Trump, at least 75% of the folks that backed up Trump in 2016 are all in legal and financial ruin hands down believe people wanted it four years ago three years ago so. oh, what, what now rex how i disagree with the previous donator things have changed people switched to picking up whores on craigslist then shit like snapchat and telegram it was time for new york to change and it ain't even like you can't still buy a woman's company well yeah as a matter of fact uh i mean since you're talking about new york here uh, because of all the immigrants that are coming in, they're actually having now illegal immigrant brothels that are giving competition to the hoes on the stroll uh, that actually dominated the corners out there. So, I mean, aside from the immigrants taking jobs away from American people, they're taking hooker jobs away from New York whores. So just FYI. But look, the reason I bring this up is because the irrational thinking that is happening amongst most folks that are voting for Trump mechanism of government so that no one could control it. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus You'll Christ. still vote Trump at the end of the day, uh, even I don't if you'll so. never admit it on air. I, no, we'll absolutely not. We'll get the Circle audio in January 2025. Trump is greater than 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 grifter Gary the betraying belch and boomer who fakes the rage for nine hundred dollars a show. Shove it up your ass. All right, I make a few hundred bucks a show, dude. Shut the fuck up. And no, I will not vote for Trump. And the reason I won't vote for Trump is because he betrayed us more ways than one. He set the precedent for shutting down the country. Give me a fucking break. All right, look, I. I think I'm done. I didn't rec I didn't realize that my goddamn show was going to be skewed. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Another. another audio file, dude. Jesus fucking Ride or Christ. die with Trump, dude. Man, that that was that's all it. That's all an act. Man, look, look, Jake, look. I mean, I, I I can be honest with you about this, but like I'm I'm ride or die with Biden, man. Like <laughs> 
You, you think I, you think I'd vote for that orange? F Give me a break. Yeah, no, I've been I've been Democrat for at least like uh, thirty years. Bullshit! Hey, that's that's a fucking lie. You want to know it, Jag? It's the truth. That's a fucking lie, dude. I, I'm I'm done with this. I'm fucking done with this. Fucking. 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 Shit, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. I give you all my blood, fucking sweat, and tears every fucking show I do, man. And this is all you fucking do, man. This is all you people do. And I'm, I'm tired of it, man. I'm fucking tired of it. I mean, I'm just a guy trying to do a show, man. Don't you understand that? Look, it's 6 o'clock over here at the True Capitalist Radio Studios. I think I'm going to fucking end this piece of shit. Uh, you know, I need to go to a bar. All right. I need to go fucking drink some fucking 32-ounce, 29-degree draft beers and some ice-cold mugs, baby. Have them served by some 24-year-old bimbo with her assets showing. All right. That's what the fuck I need. All right. That's what the fuck I need. Give me another smoke. I had all kinds of shit to talk about today, man. <laughs> All right, I'll look at Urinator with a rumble rant. Don't go. I haven't finished yet. Yeah, you're a sick piece of shit, dude. All right? And Jag the Lux Ray with a ninja gini over there at DLive and said, my idea was a suggestion. I agree with you, Ghost. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here. Let me know. Well, that's great, Jag the Lux Ray, man. Cheers to you. Cheers to... Uh, Jag the Lux Ray for the Ninja Gini out here. Now, look, I had a whole bunch of shit to talk about. All right, I wanted to talk about bomb, 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 Iran, huh? And guess what? Aside from Iran hitting up some consulate in Iraq, which really didn't do much damage, we don't give a shit who wins between Ukraine and Russia. We just want Russia completely depleted. Population, <laughs> economy. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, gee. Late night show on the... Uh, I, 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 you can go back in the archives that we oh, need to no! use Israel no! to attack Iran. And then we back them the fuck up. And that's what we've been doing. On the last episode, I said that uh, when Come Anthony on. Blinken went to go visit Israel to supposedly quash things with Gaza. I said on the last show that that's not what Antony Blinken went there for. Antony Blinken went there to say, all right, Israel, all right, we're going to bomb the Houthis, which are a terrorist satellite of Iran. You bomb Syria and start focusing energy on Iran. And that's exactly what's going on, baby. You understand? Take a look at that. We're attacking Iran directly. You, you know, I'm, I'm fucking tired. I'm, I'm giving you CIA levels of assessment here. Fucking God damn Stupid son of a bitch. God damn it. I'm giving you all CIA levels of assessment here. Don't fucking AI me and Alex Jones again. All right? You fucking pieces of shit. Don't you dare. Don't you goddamn dare. And is that what you want to hear? Is that what you want to hear, Alex Jones? Hey, I'm Alex Jones here, and I want to let everybody know that you can get the super male vitality that'll give you the big-ass boner that'll prevent you from getting infected with the intergalactic AIDS from the bitches that are coming from Orion's penis star spectrum and my filters, my filters, my filters. Jesus. How about some of the bone broth there? You know, Jesus Christ. Let me take another smoke here. Once again, the Taliban knows that if there is direct conflict between Iran and Pakistan, uh, I think that their days are numbered. I think their days are numbered. So that's why all of a sudden the Taliban is becoming a voice of reason <laughs> between this particular conflict with Iran. And I think it's a very risky decision that Iran made. <laughs> I'd buy that for oh, a dollar. Jesus Christ. CIA levels of reading other people's articles here. Well, I'm not reading other people's articles. I mean, you have to make an assessment based upon uh, the intelligence that's going on. And you notice that I don't ever go to one source of information. 
I mean, because if you truly wanted to know what the truth is, there are so many publications in no matter what small segment of the world you can find and you can assess what the fuck is happening based upon the intelligence. And when you make a certain assumptions, you can't just say, hey, this is going to happen and not give an explanation why, not give an explanation on who and, and that that sort of thing. So go, go fuck yourself. I'm not reading anything. I'm, I'm actually quoting the source without actually reading the article. So if you wanted to go read the article, I'm exposing it right here so you can go and read the fucking article for fuck's sake. Jesus fucking Christ. Y'all you know y'all are just upset because I'm prognosticating world events and you people are just fucking sitting on your thumbs, taking it out, putting it in your mouth and that's the only fucking taste that you get in life. All right? That's why you fucking people are upset with me, you fucking pieces of shit. You know, you people are lucky that I even graced my intellectual presence for you people. The fuck are you talking about? Man, fuck you people. All right? Give me a smoke. All right. I got to hold it in and let it hit the brain, all right? And urinator with a rumble rant. Ghost and intelligence is a Venn diagram of non-converging circles. Yeah, fuck you. And by the way, you did another uh, rumble rant. I paid 50k to have someone animate a music video of Ghost chasing me because he wants to molest me. That's great. All right, I've had enough, all right? I've had enough of this shit. I shouldn't have even have wasted a baller Friday on this garbage, but, you know, it is what it is. And look, while you people are making a joke about what's going on in your life and, you know, getting your thumbs bruised on video games and, I don't know, tickling your asshole to animation or whatever you're doing, I mean, you have to realize World War Three has already begun. All right? World War Three has already begun because what World War is, is multi-conflicts that are happening throughout the world that converge in some kind of inter international relations capacity. Houthis are hitting up uh, Western freighters. I mean, all this is coming together. Hey, Grandpa, thoughts on Paul World? If you want to pretend like you don't know what that is, it's Pokemon plus Ark plus Forte oh, Night. Jesus Christ. You catch animals. Force them into slave labor working in your production facilities and then give them guns. Why do I give a shit about this? And great, what is it, Luke Smith? CIA levels of assessment. Interesting term for plagiarizing Pajit news articles oh, live on air. Jesus Christ. Boom. The Shekel Goblin grift is strong with this one. And intelligence? Read actual books instead of being a rage clown to bait for donos. Yosemite Glam. You know what? Fuck you, Luke Smith. All right. The reason you're saying that is because you're probably a part of one of these countries that I want to be, uh, at, at least the regimes of those countries, I want them to end. All right. What are you, a Ruski? What are you, a Chinese? What are you, Iranian or some shit? And by the way, sorry about my shack chair. I mean, listen. This is a shit. All right. Listen to this shit. I got the Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. I think he's going to come over and put together my chair. So, you know, I should be having a new chair here. Anyway, World War Three. We've only just begun to live. Anyway. Ballistic missiles and nuclear... Anyway, let me take a smoke here, all right? Man, that sounded like some nuns, uh, you know, taking a piss or something. Anyway, uh, let me continue here. Let's continue. World War Three has just begun. And, uh, you know, who else is kind of on e unease about this whole scenario? It's not just the Taliban. It's Saudi Arabia. Take a look at this. Saudi Arabia voices great concern over Yemen airstrikes. Hey, hold on. Uh, urinator with a rumble rant. When uh, World War Three breaks out, can you re... Uh, can you and I repopulate the earth? Dude, shut up, all right? But look, as I stated, I said that Saudi Arabia here for... At li <laughs> oh, I'm not... For a what the hell is this? I don't have to. I don't have to. No, I'm not. I'm not no, fighting I'm not. in WW3. I don't have to. Yes, you are. To. No, I'm not. Yes, no, you I'm fucking not. are. I don't have to. You I have, have to. to. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Dude, I don't have shut to. Shut up. I don't have to. You're gonna no, go. Not. 
No, I'm not. You're going to go, and you're going to like it, and it's going to make a man out of you. And when you come back to the homeland, you're going to be treated as a fucking hero. You understand? And you're going to be one of the community leaders. You're going to be the, the elders of the country because you help protect the country. All right? You can't sit here and reap the spoils of this country. And when it comes to our country being protected and you don't want to protect it, then get the fuck out of here right now. All of you people that are saying that you're not going to fight for this country, get the fuck out. Get out of the country. Get the fuck out of here. Because you fucking people, when your draft number is called, you're going to fight and you're going to like it. All right? And it's going, to, it's going to bring some value into your soul, into your life. You're going to have some appreciation on what the American fucking dream is right after you fight that war. All right? And let me tell you, take note that if you fight in this war, that you are going to aid the American dominance of this world for the next hundred years. All right? So know that when you're out there fighting whoever the hell we send you to go out and fight. All right? And by the way, urinator, uh, another rumble rant. Dodging the draft is the most American thing you can... Uh, fuck off. All right? Go fuck yourself. All right? Go fuck yourself. If your draft number is called, you're going to go and serve, and you're going to like it. You're going to like it. Anyway, even though I said that Saudi Arabia here for the past couple... Of, yeah, shut fuck up, ghosty, my man. Even though Saudi Arabia has been siding with China and Russia, now, I, I reported this on the last show, they're selling... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. When I was in high school, I found out I have scoliosis, a curative in my spine. As I've been told by military recruiters, I can't join the no, army you're, or be drafted. You're, you're gonna get and drafted. all veterans I know have told me to dodge any draft the government brings. Bullshit. So fuck you. No, you're going. And scoliosis doesn't mean shit. All right. EBT card greater than draft card. Yeah, fuck you. Somebody's got to pay for that EBT card, Pookie. Somebody's got to pay for it, and you're gonna have to go out there and protect. Oh Jesus Christ. Dying show. Dying yeah, then show. Yeah, why the hell are you dying listening? Show, dying show. Dying show. Why the hell dying are you show, listening? Dying show. Dying show. Dying show. Dying show. Dude. Dying show. Dying show. Dying show. Fuck dying you, dude. Show, All right. Dying show. Fuck dying you. Show. Shut up. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I would, but. You would, but what? I would leave the country if I had the funds. But thanks a lot for your financial advice, you boomer. You would most likely have to fight too if World War III I'll breaks fight. out. I'll go out. If my number's called, I'll go out there and fight. I have flat feet and a medical record that prevents me from entering oh, service. Bullshit. I tried joining the Air Force after high school and was denied. Don't worry. When your draft number's called, you're going to be put somewhere where you belong, all right? All right, you're going to be a cock warmer. Uh, you're going to be cleaning shit bowls. You're going to be peeling potatoes. You're going to be doing something, all right? You're not going to just be sitting back at home, all right, like Byron Nelson, all right, that fucking idiot golfer who, oh, the Byron Nelson Open. Yeah, the, the reason Byron Nelson won all those fucking majors is because he was a fat piece of shit that didn't go to war with all the other males at that fucking time. Sorry, I had to make that tidbit about Byron Nelson, the golfer. He's, he's no Ben Hogan. Let's put it that fucking way. But let me tell you something. You better fucking go... And you better serve your country. You better serve your people if your draft number is called. And if you're one of these people that are saying, I'm going to dodge the draft, I'm going to dodge the draft, then get the fuck out of here right the fuck right now. You don't deserve American freedom, you piece of shit. You don't deserve the American spoils, you fucking piece of garbage. Can't believe you people. I can't believe you people. All right, you're publicly saying this. This is documented somewhere, all right? All this shit you're saying is documented somewhere in Utah somewhere, and it's going to be brought up when you idiots are like, no, I don't want to go out. I got flat feet. I got scoliosis. I got anal cysts. I got no, bullshit. All right, bullshit. You are going to go out there. You're going to serve your country. You're going to serve your people. That's what you're going to do. And Urinator said, get drafted and then apply for as much disability like insomnia and fibromyalgia so we can squeeze it out of Ghost's tax dollars. Well, look, if you served your fucking country, 
I, I, I have no problem with that. You're probably, uh, well, hopefully not. But if you served uh, and, and are probably under some kind of very physical or mental distress, then I don't blame you, all right? You served your country, all right? And that's the thing there, you fucking draft-dodging pieces of shit. When you serve your country, you have the respect of your people, all right? You have a privilege amongst other people, for Christ's sake, all right? All right, you're a fucking hero when you come here. All right, look at you now. All of you people that are saying that you're going to dra- dodge the draft, you're losers. I mean, look at you. It's a Friday night, and what are you people doing? You're flapping your fat Cheeto stained fingers on the keyboard talking shit to me! Fucking idiot. Right after this show, guess what? I'm going to Twin Peaks, all right? I'm going to get 32-ounce, 29-degree draft beer in fucking fucking ice-cold glass mugs being served by 24-year-old bimbos that are showing their assets, all right? And by the way, I'm like Norm over there uh, at, at Twin Peaks. So, hey, dude, if there's fucking like, if the seats are all taken up at the bar, because I, I like to sit at the bar, dude, the bitches will be like, hey, can you excuse me? And they would fucking, they'll pull up a seat for me and Mrs. Ghost to sit at the fucking bar. All right. I'm not joking around. And it doesn't hurt when you start throwing big tips at these bimbos. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I'm just saying. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'm just saying. What? I already served the U.S. military and proudly, so I'll miss out on this next conflict, but my advice is to dodge and run as fast as you can to Mexico. Ah, fuck you. All right, fuck you for even suggesting that to the fucking young men and women and trannies, by the way. Yeah, I'm all for trannies being a part of the military. And look, as I stated, we need to use them correctly. We need to have, and I'm going to say this again. I know people have already heard me say this. We need a tranny battalion that is specific to interrogation. Okay? Because let me tell you, when you have these fucking Islamic fundamentalists, these Khalid Sheikh Mohammed types, all right? I mean, these guys are as hard as fucking five-inch steel, man. They, I mean, they are so dedicated to Allah. I mean, they ain't going to say shit. Buy that for a dollar. What? You want regime change in America. Are you a closet Trumpist, Boomer? I knew it and chat knew it. If you didn't fake the rage and made quality content, people would give you Bitcoin and you could live a land shady life like me. HTTPS uh, right, colon yeah, fuck slash off. slash W. Yeah, fuck you, Luke <laughs> Smith. All right. Well, hold on, this jackass. I'm too stupid to serve. All I know how to do is act retarded 24-7. Also, Jag the Lux Ray, could you fill my ass with hot cum and choke me, oh, Daddy Z? Good Z, God, Z, man. Z, Come on. Z, 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 and the Irish historically have been opposed to dying for Israel? Well, I don't know what the Irish are going to do. Y'all have got your own problems, all right? You've got a Ireland and Northern Ireland problem, and now you guys are having a uh, uh, an immigration problem. Uh, but Mega Max, he's, he's, he's asking me why I skipped his rumble rant. First of all, Mega Max, all right, you're one of my blacks, which I appreciate, all right? But you, you you're literally tipping me like a black family who just ate a thousand dollars worth of food i mean you're tipping me like 10 bucks like that i, I mean you know what i mean I, that, the fuck do you want what fucking job in combat can you give to someone who can't even pass basic training because he's so gay his spine isn't even straight not that it'd matter i'd be gone before they even get to my number Ha 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 he. All he, right, all he. right. Ho ho. You know, I, I find it ironic, Froppy. I mean, how does having scoliosis affect you being a power bottom? I mean, does it make you, make you more springier or some shit? I mean, I think that that would actually have some kind of an impact. You know, you had some, uh, you know, power top, you know, pounding, you know, like, I don't know, 250 pounds of jackhammer ass. I mean, you would think that that would probably, you know, turn you into a pretzel or something. I, I don't know, man. All right. Anyway, urinator with a rumble rant. I served honorably, and I fully endorsed draft. Yeah, fuck you. All right, asshole. Fuck you. Anyway, look, Mega Max, get to the back of the All right? You, you, everything will be just fine, all right? One of my blacks, by the way. Anyway, look, people were asking about the tranny battalion. I mean, this is such a great idea. I hope 
that the Defense Department is listening in and actually takes this serious. We need a tranny battalion specifically for interrogation for these Khalid Sheikh Mohammed types, these fucking, you know, a la snack bar, I'm going to blow myself up, you know, terrorist motherfuckers, right? What you do is you go put these trannies in there, and let me tell you, they will start singing, all right, if they know that potentially some transgender... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, Tank Keys, I have a job I think you can help with. I need help moving a metric ton of undesirables from <laughs> to distinct relocation <laughs> all over Eastern Europe. Consider this job a type of drop-off oh, and not pick Jesus up. Jesus Christ. All right, that's not... I don't condone what the hell Lord Jimmy Burrito just said, all right? And Mega Max, calm your ass down. Can somebody give this guy an old English 40-ounce or something? All right, calm your ass down, for Christ's sake, all right? All right, go listen to some Chief Key for some shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, I was supposed to look at Luke Smith's video. He said that... Um, People would give you Bitcoin so I could live a life like him. What the fuck? What life are you talking about? What is this shit? All right. Oh, dude, 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 fuck you. All right. This fucking redundant idiot. You freaking Zoomers. I'm calling you out. I'm sick of seeing these comments in my comment section. Here's what happens to me. Okay. I'm out. I'm out in my yard. I'm walking around recording a video and maybe I'll make a passing remark. For example, like, oh, here's, here's my garden. You know, I recently tilled it. I, I planted a bunch of stuff. In fact, this one here, that's my potato patch. Here's what a Zoomer does. A Zoomer says, D a potato patch. That's just like, that's like, just like Minecraft. You live like oh, Minecraft Jesus. All right. in real life. All right. Th that's amazing, man. Okay. Th and I that's just enough. All right. I thought this was pertinent to the conversation, Luke Smith. Obviously, it isn't. All right. Obviously, it isn't. And we still got Urinator over here with the Rumble Rants. I got taken Tump Dole. What? I got, I got taken Tump Dole comment on Rumble. What? I'm glad you see the Donnie Patch things. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. All right. I don't even know what you're talking about, but look, I think I might get the hell out of here, okay? I, I, I think I might get... I wanted to talk about some other stuff, talk about Russia, China. Uh, this fucking show got away from me, unfortunately, and uh, I think I'm already at about three hours. So with that being said, I'm sorry that I didn't get to everything that I wanted to. Uh, we unfortunately got bombarded by a bunch of fucking sick-ass, demented, piece-of-shit-head trolls, and as a result... Uh, I wasn't able to get to all the, uh, you know, to, to all the serious subject matters, you know, to the political and social commentary that everybody knows what Ghost, uh, you know, does. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, all right, uh, let me go ahead and release the lemons in the D Live chat. Let me go ahead and do that to all the folks that are there out there at D Live. I've got about, what is it, a... Uh, 1,100 lemons. We're going to distribute them in five, four, three, two, one. Hold on. Before I do that, let me take a smoke of the tobacco here. All right. Let's go ahead and distribute the damn lemons. All right. All right. Here it is. We're distributing them now. <laughs> I'd buy that. Oh, for a Jesus dollar. Christ. This is a free format show, right? So why don't we look at irrelevant news HTTPS colon Dude, slash Dude, look, look. I don't care, Alfonso Loco, about a man being bit by a python while sitting in the toilet in Austria. All right? I don't give a shit. No offense, all right, Alfonso. And by the way, I do like Cloud with a K, you know, that you donate. That dude does rock. I'll be honest with you. I... I'm not a big DJ fan, but that dude does rock. Uh, anyway, we got uh, Maria Maria with 197 lemons. We got Ryleski, 88, 114 lemons. Cheers, dude. I know you're a member, man. Cheers to you. Uh, we got Yo Little Ghosty with 82 lemons. Angry Goy JJ with 65 lemons. We've got River Sticks with 55 lemons. Cheers to everybody out there who is listening to the broadcast over there at DLive, Rumble, and Kick. Uh, I'm probably going to do a tr uh, a ghost show, all right, this Tuesday, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't think we're going to have any freezes or anything crazy of that nature. We should be just fine. So uh, for everybody out there, for, I think, Propane Man, uh, uh, somebody else donated a video, we're going to get to your video on Tuesday, all right? So cheers to you guys, 
And I may, depending on what happens over the weekend, I may or may not do a true conservative, or excuse me, true conservative, what, what is this, 2008? Uh, true capitalist radio on Monday. Uh, you know, depends on what the hell happens uh, during the weekend. I, I may do a true capitalist radio Monday around the same time. <laughs> I'd buy that for a uh, dollar. Jesus Christ. Here we go again. Jesus Christ. Ride or die with Trump, dude. Man, that that was that's all it. That's all an act. Oh, man, look, look, Jake. Look. All right, I, I'm done with this I shit. Mean, I, I I can be honest with you about this, but like I'm I'm ride or die Biden, man. Like <laughs> you you think you, that, know, you think I'd vote for that? You fucking guys, orange. man. I'm so tired, man. Give me a break. Yeah, no, I've been I've been Democrat fucking ruining least, my like, baller uh, Friday, years. man. Hey, it's the truth. You want to know it, Jag? It's the truth. Fucking ruining my baller Friday, for fuck's sake, man. You fucking... God damn stupid son of a bitch. God damn it. Yeah, you fucking laugh, all right? You fucking laugh. You all are a bunch of draft dodgers. You're a bunch of anti-American traitors, all right? If your draft number is called, you pieces of shit... You're going to go and serve, and you're going to like it. It's going to make a man of you, boy. It's going to make a man out of all of you. And if you are one of these idiots, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draft dodge, guys, then get the fuck out of my goddamn country and get out of it now. Get out of my country and get out of it now. This is America. Do you understand that? You've got to fight for your freedom, for your country. That's why you can get your thumbs bruised as some fucking gamer, you dumb piece of shit. That's why you can sit back at home and wax your carrot to a goddamn anime cartoon, all right? That's why you can go and dress up like a fucking butt monkey and go to a comic con and cosplay, for fuck's sake, all right? American freedom. And when your draft number's called, you fucking pieces of low-grade disposable road trash, you better be prepared to fight. Do you understand me? This is America, the greatest country on earth. And we got to protect America, all right? We got to promote America. We got to assert America's authority on a global scale, all right? There's a thousand points of light, and it's directed at us. And we should take the light and use it. Anyway, I'm getting the fuck out. Fuck all you people that are out here talking trash. Like I said, let's see what happens over the weekend. Maybe a true capitalist radio on Monday. We are definitely doing a ghost show on Tuesday. All right. 9 p or excuse me, 8 p.m. Mish on Tuesday. All right. Anyway, folks, thank you all very much for tuning in with me. I appreciate each and every one of you, except the fucking troll terrorist cyber vermin shitheads that take my perfectly serious show and turn it into some kind of a fucking autistic convention serving fucking spaghetti from Denny's. All right? You feminine penis loving, butt dart playing, autistic anal loving, pecker shaft loving, migrant mouth hugging, jahooty jaw boning piece of bitch tit sucking shit. I'm getting the hell out of here. Fuck all you people, all right? All of you people that are talking shit to me, I hope you all get cancer of the cock, you stupid son of a bitch, all right? I'm going to go celebrate my baller Friday. I'm getting me some ghost fucking pepper wings. I'm getting me some cold beer, and I'm having it served to me by some fucking IRL 24-year-old bimbo that's supposedly doing this to get by to college. Yeah, I'll pay for your fucking college, all right? Fucking bend over, you fucking slut. Anyway, I'm out of here. <laughs> Woo!